welcome back. It's Friday, another video, and I'm gonna go to the park to do some some ab work, to do an ab workout. Cause they got a bar there, so I'm gonna do some leg raises and things like that, and then come back and finish it then. So yeah, let's do it. Right, so here's a video of me doing some hanging like knee raises. They're working the obliques. So I did four sets of 20. So you just gotta make sure you don't like use too much momentum and just really fill the obliques and contract them. So yeah, enjoy the video of me doing it. Right, so the next are just normal like knee knee raises. So these are one of the best things for your core and stuff. So you just gotta put get them as high as possible, work in your lower abs and they're really simple to do, but you will feel the burn and stuff. So yeah, four sets of twenty again and they're really good exercise. Right, so the last, last exercise sorry, I did at the park were like leg raises on this machine thing. So you just want to get your legs about 90 degrees. I f I'm pretty sure they work your lower abs as well. But they're really hard. Well, I find them really difficult. So I did, the first set was a 15. And then after that, I just did 10. So not as much volume as the other ones. But personally, I think they're more difficult. But they work as well. Right, I finished the three core exercises I needed to do so now we get home uh, do another three and then get some breakfast so yeah yeah I forgot to say the floor here is incredibly muddy so that's why my shoes uh, don't know if they're recording my shoes but that's why my shoes are muddy as well so yeah just thought I'd comment on that so this one is Russian twist they're called they're really good for your obliques, just keep your feet off the floor and you can do it without a dumbbell but because I'm like okay at them I can do it with a dumbbell so yeah they're, they are one of the best for your obliques and if you're not good at them you can always do it without a dumbbell or keep your feet on the floor so yeah try it out yourself So the next one is like weighted sit ups, as you're gonna see like I had it in in a position there, but then I changed it because when I have it up further, I feel it contracting my abs more. So for the rest of the fr the the three sets of like twenty left, I did them like that because I feel the burn more and they're just a progression from normal sit ups and stuff to make it more difficult and to get like better results. So yeah. Right, so the next exercise was V-sits. These work like the main part of your core and they're really difficult. Uh, Sometimes I do them with dumbbells, but uh, I did them the first time and I realized my arms weren't going all the way back So I like regressed and did these uh, For 20 reps instead of 10 with dumbbells with better form. So they were the last lot of my ab workout so yeah I have finished, so now I'm going to get some food, have a shower, then head off to school like normal. Right, I've, I've got the breakfast here, and just need to add the tomato, that's the completely wrong thing. I just need to add the tomato ketchup, and then I'll be good to go. 
It's all ready. Let's eat. Yeah, I'm showered and everything, so now off to school. I'm back from school and I'm going out for dinner later. Somewhere fancy-ish, but the name's a bit weird. So yeah, but anyway, I have some Weetabix. And yes, it's got sugar on, but it's only about 30 calories-ish. So I'm going to eat that and then chill out and watch YouTube until I go out and then do a leg session afterwards. So I'll see you when I have my food at the posh place. Hi guys. I, I have my chicken and prawn paella, so I'm gonna eat that. Um, I finished my meal. It was very nice. Right, I'm I'm back from a paella eating, and I'm gonna work out now. So let's get changed. Right. So the first thing I did for leg day was um, deadlifts. Uh, I did four sets of ten. Now they're like the best exercise overall. Uh, but you have to do them with the right form. So you'll see before every rep, I was like pushing my bum down and engaging my shoulders, pulling them down. Like making sure I had a straight back and pulling up. Not going too heavy, just making sure I had the right form and didn't mess up my back. But they felt quite, felt quite good today. So I added on like 10 kilograms more weight and did that for three sets of 10 after. All right, so the next up was squats, four sets of 10. So as you can see, I've had to push press it over my head because I don't have like a squat rack here. So that's fine. It's a bit sketchy, but it's fine once you get used to it. But anyway, so squats are one of the best exercises for your legs. And just go as heavy as you can for 10, making the last one really quite difficult. And they're, they're overall just really good for your legs. Um, so they felt quite good with the deadlift today, but they were challenging and made my legs feel like jelly afterwards, but it's all good. <sighs> Right, hip thrusters. So they're one of the best exercises if you want to get bigger glutes and like hamstrings in your lower body and stuff. So I didn't do them too heavy, 25 uh, or 30 kilograms, I can't really remember. But uh, I was just trying to ensure I did them with best, the best form I could. Really squeezing my glutes and hamstrings on the way up to get the best uh, use out of the exercise. But as you'll see at the end and from the start, they're quite hard to set up, but that's not a problem, so we just get over that fact. Right, front squats. So I did three sets of ten of these, quite heavy, but they are more difficult than normal squats, but to be honest, I'm not really sure why. I think it's the grip, but they work basically the same muscles as just regular back squats. Because uh, I'm not obviously a coach, I'm not too sure the intricacies of them, but they're good. And my grip isn't the best of them, it kind of hurts my left hand a bit, so that's why I don't go too heavy. I only do three sets of ten, but I'm working on it. Calf raises there, pretty simple really, you just push press it onto your back or obviously if you have a squat rack just like get it up onto it, but you just like uh, contract, uh, what's it called, extension of the calf to make uh, it contract and stuff, so yeah they're quite simple but they're really good. Right I've just finished the workout, it's pretty difficult. But I'm pleased I did it. So I'm just going to get some nuts and chill out. And I think I'm going to have a bath. Because, Elliot, can you please turn the... Thanks. Uh, yeah, because uh, the thing called Epsom salts you have in your bath, they like help your muscles and stuff. So I think I need that after this week, like training quite a lot. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. 
then chill out and head off to bed. Right, I'm... Wait. Uh, I'm now finishing my bowl of nuts. So I'm just gonna chill out in the bath and just sleep uh, for tomorrow. Uh, overall, I burned uh, this many calories. Right, so this here is my calories out versus calories in. So, as you see, I've burned 2,645 calories over the course of Monday to Friday. So, I'm pleased with that. And I know if I keep up like that, yeah, I'll so be good. Yeah, so I was saying, like, if I keep burning that calories, I know I'll be in the shape that I want to by summer. Uh, it's been a good week. I've done what I wanted to, had a good birthday. Now I'm going off to bed. So, if you're somehow still watching, thank you. And, oh yeah, uh, goodbye.